Oh boy, Kamigawa Neon Dynasty set boosters. Man, the lighting looks fantastic in this room. All right, here we go. Did I ever show you guys where I record? Check it out. Shrink. Picturesque, beautiful freaking lighting. Uh, courtesy of moonlights and all types of stuff. But really what does it is... <laughs> That's cute, huh? I know, I know. Sabrina surgery um, was a success for the most part. Um, she's in a lot of pain, though. That light helps out a lot. Um, she's in a lot of pain. She's recovering. She's downstairs sleeping right now with Jax. Uh, but yeah, guys, she... Um, She's in a lot of pain. We're, she's going to get some results back, and we'll find out uh, after they do a little test to see if, uh, you know, they got rid of the cancerous tumor or not to uh, see uh, if it's spread into other cells. or I, I don't know how it all works. I'm not a freaking doctor, you know. Um, but we're going to get word from the doc. I think they said within two weeks or something. We'll know a bit more. So hopefully she doesn't need more of her mouth removed because, oh, my God. That would be a terrible freaking thing. Uh, I hope that's not the case. All right, here we go. Cracking open for good old Ground Zero. Ground Zero, baby. Let's hit some freaking gold. If you're ever in the Strongsville, uh, Ohio area, which is like right in Cleveland, check them out. Crap ton of cards, crap ton of product, all the new stuff. Not so much old boxes. They don't really have too much old old boxes and product. Um, but they, no, they have a lot of like singles that are older though, for darn sure. You can find a lot of old singles. All right, here we go. Tempered, uh, sorry, oh my gosh. The Moss and Reaches Skyward. Nothing crazy there. The Living Lore and Foil Rabbit. Foil Rabbit Battery. Okay. You need to get all the freaking luck, Chuck. You gotta find something freaking juicy in one of these. Shrink. And these lands are still going for a penny, man. It's nuts. Uh, has that... That probably dropped under a buck by now, I'm sure. Sky Blast, Naturalist, Era of Enlightenment, Tribute to Harobi and the Koi. Ah, We're really keeping an eye out for... Uh, oh, is there a foil in every... Oh, my gosh. They have really done too many foils. I'm not... Uh, this is coming from a guy who you'd be lucky to get, like, six foils in a box when I started playing Magic. Now there's there's like 10 foils in a pack. <laughs> there's, a, there, there's a guaranteed uh, foil in every pack in certain ones. Um, there's like 10 foils in a regular draft box. It's just like, they've really increased that. And oh, hot dogs, the Wandering Emperor. Oh man, we have all the freaking luck on this channel, I swear. We are just lucky dogs, man. Wandering Emperor shows up with Scrap Welder. And we got ourselves a foil fur master, rat ninja. What a name. Say that three times fast. Sure, Joey, I will. We're gonna sleep that puppy right freaking meow. Um, we have pulled a Japanese wandering emperor etch foil, and we pulled an English wandering emperor foil etch, which is nuts to say the freaking least. <laughs> the Japanese version, I think is like $400 or something or more. Maybe five hundred. It's worth a lot. The Japanese version is worth a lot more than the English version. So that's nuts that we did that. Um, and still, the English version is going for a few pennies. And these are beautiful. These foils, absolutely freaking nuts, man. All right, let's find some of that gold, baby. Glitter, glitter, chicken dinner. What are we going to get? Bosuji reaches skyward. Surge hacker. I feel we're going to have a few dud packs here. How about a list pull or two? I think a nice list pull or two. Would really wake the demons. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's really wake the demons here. <laughs> we need it. We need we need something here. Let's invoke invoke the spirit, huh? Covert technician, era of enlightenment. Can we get And the sniper. No list pull yet. Really? No list pull yet? Yeah, no list pull yet. Okay. What was the list pull? We pulled some really big hits for lists. I can't recall what they were. Wasn't too long ago though, but man, it was freaking juicy. All right, I can't remember for the life of me what it was. Uh, shrink. Just guy visionary. It's good to see a bit of play. Light the way. Nothing in the in the special fun slot. No list pull yet. No ink card yet. Oh yeah, you sometimes get two foils in one pack, which I think is silly. <laughs> Overprinting the enough of the foil, man. Who's de, who made that decision? I know the board did, but like who, whose idea was that exactly? To be like, you know what we need? We just need more foils. 
star I mean, as parent. That's cool though. It's one of them. It's a little more sought after for the uncommons. I'll give it that. Um, who yeah? Who whose idea was it to be like? Let's just make a billion freaking foils. Oh my god! I had the idea <laughs> before they were doing it. I'm like, why don't you guys just give us packs with all foils? Oh my god! I remember saying that, and that was like a year before the collector boxes came out with all foils. <laughs> And the reason I had that idea, because I'm like, man, these standard showdown promo packs are really cool. And they had certain packs where they're all foils inside. I'm like, just give us all the hits in one pack. Sell it for 20, 30. Like, I swear. I'm not saying I'm responsible for it, but man, you guys can go back to those videos. If anyone can find the video, I think I've said it in multiple. It would be during the standard showdown videos that I was opening. They're not even called that anymore. Cal, you're fine. Are you going to go play too? Yeah. All right, have fun. Um, yeah, I, I don't think they, yeah, they don't call them standard showdown. They just call them like promo packs or premium promo packs now. But there was a time, um, where, uh, things are a little different with those backs, you know? Um, they didn't have like crazy symbols on them and all, all, ty all types of stuff, but, uh, still fun to, fun to go after, fun to open those promo packs. But man, the collectors, they hit the scene and I was like, oh my God, I freaking called it. Like, I'm like, just give us all the hits in like one pack. Like, Cause I thought it was really cool that you would get like two or three rares inside of one of these promo packs. I'm like, that's really freaking cool. Like if only they did that um, with other, pa like other stuff and just charge more for it, charge a premium. And uh, yeah, within a year's time out came uh, the collector boxes. There's Dragon Kami and Pyroclasm. That's sweet, man. From good old frickin' Portal, Second Age. I want to say it's Second Age. I can't recall exactly. Oh, no, that's First Age. First Age. OG Portal right there. We'll throw back. That's all right. All right. But anyway, yeah. Um, and now I'm complaining about what I asked for, which is ridiculous. But something else I said, I'm like, I really want serial number cards. Um, or at least cards that are more scarce. And <laughs> I've been asking for that for a while. Um, for a very long time. Um, kind of like how the Pokemon stuff goes on. Oh, Naganata. I pulled that too many times. It's like the fifth O Naganata I pulled. I just pulled the OG one of that like three times <laughs> in a box. Um, we open a lot of vintage product here, in case you guys didn't know. Uh, yeah, go back. Uh, to a, vintage openings are nuts, man. Um... What were we talking about? Um, yeah, the rarity stuff. So now they got like this neon ink, right? The neon ink card, I think, is a great idea, a, a great way to go. And they started the crazy rarity with uh, throwing them in secret layers. They had that one. Oh, that's a nice one. Um, they had that one card. It's like I think it's an uncommon or common card, but they numbered it to like a to a hundred. Was it? Wait, was it number to 100 or 1,000? Like, God, I can't remember. I think, it, I think it was 100. But anyway, you pull one of those suckers. And uh, you know they first started selling for like $3,000, $4,000. I'd have to look up what they're selling for now. I can't imagine they're selling for anywhere near that price anymore. Master of the Wild Hunt. Yeah, dude. Hells yeah. That's a freaking nice one. I remember this guy was only like three bucks. Long time ago. <laughs> I remember being disappointed when I pulled him. Now he's like 8 to 12 or something. Uh, yeah, not bad. The list pool might be a little more pricey. I'm not sure. But there we go. All right. Nice little list pool. Master of the Wild Hunt. I think that's the second time we pulled that in list. That's how many times we crack boxes. I'm not saying All right. Uh, but yeah, with them doing the, uh, the more limited stuff, I think that's awesome. I think that's really freaking cool. Nice little mythic there. Nice little mythic. Um, and I hope they continue to do it. What I would like is uh, a more structured setting. Like, how many of those uh, red ink cards exist? Are there a thousand of them? There doesn't seem to be a thousand of them. <laughs> um, there might only be 500 of that card out there. They are really, really scarce. I'm telling you, there's not a whole lot of them. I'm actually going to find out how many have sold on eBay and TCG Player. Um, find out information on that. Now, again, they could have been sold again. So it's hard to really know an exact number of how many were sold. But I can find out, you know, a general idea. I would say maybe 10 of those were resales, you know, after the fact, maybe. 
but they might only be printed 500 to 1,000. And if that's true, whew, explains why the price is so damn much, you know? Uh, but very cool once they did that. But what I would like is for it to be a bit more structured, you know? Cult of the Waxing Moon is our list pool. And what I mean by that is tell us if there's 500 copies. Put the card, put the serial numbers on the card. One of 500, two of 500, whatever. And the list goes on and on and on. Also, give us some variations. You know, do a, do a, a run where there's, they're numbered to 100. Do a run where there's 1,000 of them. And then maybe another run where there's like 10,000. Or maybe you can even be void of that 10,000 one, you know? But I think that, that would be a great place to start. So we know there's only this many. And make, make them a little different, too. You got to make those cards a little different. They got to be unique uh, with the serial numbers, you know? Uh, call them parallels, but there's got to be, you know, like how you did the neon ink stuff. I think you guys did a great job with that. That was freaking job well done. Do something like that again. Do something like that again. Uh, but uh, more variety, please, and not just one card. Uh, let's do that to quite a few others. And not only that, but let's do that to cards that matter. <laughs> Could we do that uh, to cards people would like to pull? There's a Kraken for you. Um, like, I mean, could you imagine, like, I hate to, I'm going to say Soul Ring off the top of my head, but, I mean, hell, let's, let's do it to a Sheevan Dragon. That's not a card that really matters too much anymore. People, it still sees play, but nothing really much. Um, or, you know, like some, some older stuff. Um, or even in the new print runs. You know, ooh, there we go, Abandoned Mire. I like this card art. One of my faves, babe. Oh, we did pull a stamp card right there. Aaron Riley. Someone's like, yeah, they put the stamp on them because they're Japanese or Chinese artists. Aaron Riley, moving forward, <laughs> says my thoughts on that person's thoughts. Uh, Abandoned Meyer, I said there was lazy, and they didn't want to sign. Why? Can anyone tell me why? And that the whole, they're, they're Japanese artists or Chinese artists, that, that one does not fly with me, that's bogus. Um, maybe there's some instances, but that doesn't go for all of them. <laughs> so why are these artists not signing cards? Are they opting out to sign? Why would they not want their signature? Um, you know, embossed or whatever into uh, the card. Why? Why not? Our oh, double mythic, pretty cool. Nice little double mythic, mythic pack there. We'll take that. Um, yeah, I'd like to know what's going on with that, man. <laughs> what the hell is going on with that? Dropping this, dropping that. Who knows? Anyway, moving forward. Um, let's see some serial numbered cards. Farewell. There we go. Farewell's a good card. Nice little hit. Foil Oni. And, um, yeah. Don't don't screw it up, though, please. <laughs> I mean, hell. They can... Like, how sports cards work, uh, work, man, they got stuff like numbered one of one. This one's numbered to two. The, only five of these exist. Ten of these exist. I mean, they got ones where it's numbered to seven, eight. It, it, anything goes with that. Uh, but, like, basically, like, your chrome sets, Topps Chrome, uh, Bowman... They'll do like what they call refract, um, refractors or little parallels more so. So they run parallels. So this one's blue, this one's green, this one's red, this one's yellow, this one has glass paint on it, this one has glass paint etched on it. It gets like more and more weird and crazy and complex. And depending which one you get, it drives up the price, you know. But even sports cards, in my opinion, have gotten a little carried away. When you have over 20 plus different parallels of one card, Dude, that's, that's excessive. I think that's silly. I think that's just way, way too much. Uh, too many different versions. Let's stick to maybe three or four tops in Magic. Maybe, you know, um, I don't, maybe, okay, with the extended arts and all that other stuff going on, I mean, maybe bring that number to like six. Six different variants. Call it a freaking day. You know, let's not go nuts and do the 20 plus. That's just, it's just too much. What are your guys' thoughts on that? think they should do that. Anything, I mean, I, this is, I'm just spitballing ideas, man. I like to hear what you have to say. I freaking throw my ideas around all day. The Long Reach of Night. Ooh, Tesseract Betrayer of Flesh. 
Kodos Iatazi. Are any Tezzerets worth over 10 bucks? There might be one. And I'm not talking like the mythic stuff, uh, uh, the special mythic treatment that I you know certain cards got. Not that stuff, but yeah. More parallels, please. Here we go. Shrink. I can't believe they got in trouble for those mythic edition boxes or whatever they did, where they had like just special planeswalkers and shit and were selling them that way. Why, why was there trouble over that? I can't, Lion Sash is good. Like, what, what was the deal with that stuff? I can't recall. But I, weren't they like threatened to be sued or something? Because they dropped those, um, like, it was like Ravnik or um, like War of the Spark Mythic Edition. And people got all pissed off or salty. I hate these little pansies, man, who complain about everything. Like, there are, like, seriously, I'd like to just blast one of them in the mouth hard as shit. Like, dude, shut the hell up already. I'm keeping it real, guys. Like, there's just way too much bitching and whining and complaining in the world. I know I do some of it on my own. I complain about shit. But, man, these people will find the stupidest thing to complain about and make a huge deal about it. You know? I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm complaining about complainers right now. Eh, whatever. We live in a crazy world, huh? There's Okiba. <laughs> But man, like, there's certain arguments people have. It's like, dude, really? If you, if you look in my direction and say that to me, I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> I'm not a small dude either. I'm a pretty big boy. Um, but man, there's like, there's some people, dude. There's, there's, there's some people out there. Let me tell you. All right, Tales of Master Sashiro. Oh, Scottish. We got the old who endures. About a fritting. Lucky duck. It's about time because we weren't really hitting a whole lot of value. So we needed something like that to really step it up. Otherwise, this box was looking doodly. All right. Let's get one more hit and wrap up the video. What do you guys say? Weaver of Harmony. Shrink. Shrink. Two more packs. Feels good to pull that who endures. I'm shocked. It's been about a month, guys. Oh, I got I got to announce who won that card. Uh, I got to go through that video. I got to find that video. Somebody tag the video, um, or like tell me what the title of the video is called. Where I was doing that one giveaway, I cannot freaking recall it, man. Uh, but I said one month from whenever. I think it's almost been that one month. If not, it's been more than one month. Um, so I need to know. But man, I was way off. I said eight bucks. That card. I, I know it's over twenty right now. It's over 20 bucks. I can find out the exact price in a minute here, but it goes based on uh, that day. So there's a Swampy. Foil Swampy, always welcome in the house. Shrink, there's Roaring Blades. Umazawa, not going out with that big bang. Oh, wait, we got a, we got this guy back here. Goblin Shaman. Oh, that's pretty good. Cool. Nice little goblin, dude. That's a nice little this hit. Okay. So yeah, that is that. Let me find that price. Wow, $25.11 currently. That is astonishing. <laughs> um, I, I can't believe it's valued that high right now, especially with all the mass openings, people uh, cracking all these boxes, hunting uh, for the neon ink cards. Um, pretty freaking crazy. Those are big hits from this set, uh, from this box opening. Um, yeah, thanks guys. Uh, appreciate you tuning in. Can't believe the price on that card. I thought it'd be like eight bucks. I, I still think it's quite inflated though. I think uh, 25 is a bit high, but it sees so much freaking play, it's stupid. All right, skadoosh.